Yeah. So, to win a Tony uh, on Broadway, acting opposite Denzel Washington, I mean, that must have been like a different league. It must have felt amazing. Yeah, that was... That was I mean, every time... I mean, my sort of memories I've got over my career, I can always pin... And they usually are theatre jobs. I mean, just... I can remember when I first worked at the National and cycling over Waterloo mm. Bridge and just, like, I've made it. I'm now mm. in a show at the National, I've made it. Mm. And then when I went to, got to Broadway, I was like, I remember just going up Broadway and getting to the rehearsal and thinking, I've just, I'm done. Mm. Mm. My work yeah, yeah. here is done, you know, so... And is that the show that the Obamas came to see? They did, yeah. Mm. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> Do they keep that under wraps that they're coming, or...? Um, to the audience, but to... I mean, you could know. I mean, literally, there was helicopters <laughs> circling around, <laughs> armed guards on every... <laughs> they blocked off, like, five roads around Broadway, so it was pretty obvious that something was happening. They told us about two days before, and we had to get to the theatre very early, and we had a guard outside in each dressing room, and we were, you know, given a sort of talk and a briefing and stuff like that, and it was... Yeah. What's the audience like then? Like, I mean, are they looking at the stage at all? Are they just like. Well, I, <laughs> what they said is just looking. At it, there was them. no, no one was told. But what they did, they brought all the audience in, and then just before the curtain went up, they kind of slipped them in. Mm. But everybody, and I was like behind the curtain. The, the place went insane. Wow. I mean, it's like there was just flat, there was some people were like <laughs> flashing cameras, and it took oh. 10, 15 minutes before oh we could start God. the show. Wow. Because but people went insane, and then. He sort of, I think everyone sort of said, you know, we're not going to get yeah. the show done. And then they seem to just go with it. And Raising the Sun is a play, oh, it's about a lot of things, but there's a speech that Denzel Washington's character gives in the middle of it where he talks about, as a, a black man living in this time in poverty, you know, he cannot dream, he cannot have dreams. You know, he's like a Raising the Sun shriveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was, you know, Obama in the fourth yeah. row. And wow. I even looked at it, I just... There was not a dry eye yeah, in the house that, you know... Yeah, and did you get to... You got to meet them, though, didn't you? Yeah, they came. So, normally, <laughs> if people come round, they come um, after the show, but because of, they had to rush off, like, as soon as, like, the final show, they were out, you know, for security. So, they, um, they brought them in the interval. Oh, my God. When well, you're oh, still in character, saying. darling. Yes. <laughs> wow. uh, now, you're not supposed to film them, I was told you? not to film <laughs> anything. But... <laughs> <laughs> I might have handed my phone to someone. It's a one-off moment in my life. Of but I wanted to have, like, some evidence. No, and you got your understudy to do the yes. thing. Yes. And you're holding them together. You're very good. I... So, you, we've sent us the footage. So, here we are. So, here's Obama backstage. Uh, now, he's coming on to you. Look at you. Nice kiss. Yes, nice to meet you. Staying cool. Staying cool. Stay cool. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> The Graham Norton Show, all new, Sundays at 11 on BBC America and streaming on AMC+.